Hello. So, two characterized software engineering, I'd like to talk a little bit about the qualities. So, what does it mean to have a quality in software engineering? What is the quality of a product? Because I think it's important to look at qualities, because when you think in terms of qualities, you also see what are, you define the goals of your software engineering process, of your artifact what the artifact should achieve. And that uh, has a big impact on the techniques and tools and methods you're going to use to achieve that. Okay? So, but um, the main point is that, I guess it's not just in software engineering, in an, uh, any engineering, you have conflicting uh, qualities. So if you go for one quality, maybe you just need this. You need to have trade-offs between qualities. Okay? And each product actually results from the decision about some trade-offs. So some products uh, uh, should have a very good performance, but they are more expensive. Or So you have to decide about these trade-offs. So basically, we have different people involved. Uh, we call them stakeholders, okay? So the stakeholders of, of the product are all the people around the product that in some sense have some expectation about it. So uh, this expectation uh, is, can be described in terms of some quality, something that the product is, is going to provide to them, okay? So I'm going to show you uh, uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the qualities and I'm just going to go uh, through the different qualities so that uh, uh, very short uh, comments about each one of them now uh, so that you can uh, see the, the get a big picture okay, about what is quality. One of the qualities that for a long time people tried to to enforce in software development was so at the beginning software engineering tried to to become an industrial process because you know when you have a new engineer uh, engineering discipline you just try to do what the older brothers do okay and and the main idea here is uh, you should have a quality process so if you have a good quality so if you use good techniques good methods and Maybe you can get, or you can get, a, 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 the qualities in the product. So it's the the quality of the process defines the quality of the 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 the, the, the product, the final quality of the product. And this is true, of course, if you use tools, if you use refactoring, you use techniques. That's why you learn these techniques. But unfortunately, it's not enough. Okay, and what we learn from years of developing software is that it's not just enough to focus on the quality of the process because so developing software is a knowledge activity, is a knowledge creation activity, right? So you keep learning. So it's really important to think in terms of the quality of the team. And you learn techniques about how to have a quality of the team, so how to have a small teams, how to, uh, at the same time, increase the communication between the team members and, and uh, at the same time, reduce the noise of this communication so that you have a better quality in w when the team works together. So that, and from this perspective, you get the quality of the product from the quality of the team. And there are techniques to do this. Okay, and then when you look at the product itself, you can look from different views. So the views of the different stakeholders, and usually you, when you look at the system, usually you look from the user point of view. So do you are going to use the system, and you keep talking about or looking at these qualities like performance, availability, usability, security, it's something that you just keep. Uh, listen, and you have learned, for instance, usability. We had just one course associated with usability. So, actually, these are qualities that are quite relevant and that are sensed, that are, that the, the final user is aware of. And usually they love or not a product because of these qualities. Okay?
But then there are other qualities in the project. So it's not, it's, 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 it's not just who's going to use it, it's also who's going to pay the product. So, and people usually think in terms of what, how much it's going to cost the system. So you have techniques to try to estimate the cost, to know for our techniques of rapid development, time to, time to market. Sometimes when you develop a software artifact, the quality of the artifact is as you can produce it quite quickly and it just be uh, in the market before the concurrency. Okay, so that's you should look at these aspects as, as well. And of course, there are the quality for the guys that are going to maintain the system, that are going to modify the system. And so, we, and usually our qualities like maintainability, readability, and these qualities you may think that are not uh, relevant. Okay, maybe not you, but uh, because you are the guys that actually will be developing the systems, but you may see that they're not that important. But look, when you think that, for instance, one of the main qualities today is, that, uh, is looking at software as a knowledge process. You want to have the best people working there. It means that developing this system should be fun, okay, in some sense. Which means that it's important that the system has a good quality that people love to be developing there. Because if not, the best guys just quit and go for more interesting projects. So maintainability, readability are quite important qualities even from a social point of view, to get the best people working in your system. But as I told you, these are basically conflicting qualities. And usually I use this example. And the example is about home banking. And I usually ask people, what is more important in home banking? Is usability or security? And people usually tell the answer they, they, gives me, they give me is that, well, you know, it's security because people think it's security. But actually, sometimes it's not the right way to, you, to, to think about it, because, because if you think that security is the most important quality, well, one home banking would not exist, because home banking is about making operations outside the front desk, right? Outside the bank. So, well, from the security point of view, it's not a very good idea. And another thing that is interesting here is that probably even this quality is changing, okay? So the trade-off change depending on, on the business. I suppose that when home banking started, the main quality would be actually usability. Why? Because people are, were not using the, this system. So the system should be usable. Probably you only need one password to enter. You don't need to have a, a mobile phone. You don't need to have a, a card with keys. So usability was really important. And probably the people from business, the bank says, we don't mind if you lose some money caused to problems in security if we actually we get more people using your own banking because then we'll make more money because we save money by doing a... Uh, reducing on um, employees, okay, in, at the bank, inside the banks, right? So that was the point here. And probably afterwards, when they already have a lot of people using the system, they may say, well, let's now increase the security. Why? Because now people are already using the system. They are not just quitting to use the system. And now we are going to say, you should have a mobile phone with you. Hey, to have a mobile phone in you to, with you to do an operation in, in your own banking is worse usability, right? So that's the type of trade-offs that occur when you develop software. So it's not, there is, there is always a trade-off and they, cho they change for the same product along the time. So this idea that we have an e-system and this e-system keeps changing, the reality changes, so you keep changing the system. So. Well, one of conclusions about what characterizes software is that a system that is good, a system that is work, is a system that is being changed every day. Okay. Good work. Bye.